you how to make the banner that goes across the top of my sandbox by using an update hack. I made the image using Google Slides. I took my original Bitmoji cl classroom and transferred all the things over into a new slideshow that I had set up with the dimensions of 16.67 by 4.17 inches. This can be adjusted give or take because you're just gonna stretch the image when you get in there, but you want it to generally be a very long image that you're creating. So once you've got your page set up to the right dimensions, you're gonna add a background and you can choose an image for, through a Google search and search wall and floor background. I just picked a simple gray one that I typically use for my um, Google Classroom and for Schoology. Within this slide, you're gonna start adding furniture from your normal classroom to make it look as consistent as you can so that students recognize that as being your virtual classroom. So all I did was just copy and paste items in to that slide. And when I was done, it looked like this. I took out the whiteboard and I made the plant and the chair a little bit more transparent to really make my font pop. And then the next step was just to use the shape tool. I drew circles and tried to make them as round and perfect as I could. And then once I kind of got them to the shape that I liked, I changed the color so they were bright and colorful and took away the outline. And then I did a drop shadow. It made them look a little bit more 3D and a little bit more polished when it was all done. And once I had created the first circle that I liked, all I did was copy and paste in more circles with that same setting and then change the color so they were all really uniform. And then I kept going all the way across until I had all of the dots I needed to write welcome. And if you double click on a shape, it gives you the option to type within it. So I centered it, set my font to 50, and then picked the font I typically use and made it white. And then I typed welcome. The last part was creating this cursive um, and I used Pacifico 150 in white and I just did a big text box. Now that I've got all of that ready to go, I'm gonna add in my Bitmoji. So I'm gonna click my Bitmoji extension up at the top. And I'm gonna type in confetti. To put this into Schoology, you're going to need to download it as a JPEG or a PNG. So you're gonna to go to File, Download, and you can either pick JPEG or PNG. Now I'm gonna go into one of my other sandbox courses and add this as a banner. 
I'm going to go to add materials, add a page, and this is where I'm going to design the banner that I'm going to put up at the top. The kids are never going to see this page, so I'm going to call it banner and then I'm going to call it unpublish. So I remember not to publish it. I'm also going to add buttons later to this to make it look like my other page. So the next thing I need to do is make sure I've got it unpublished and then I can insert the picture that we just created from my downloads. And there it is. The last step when you're ready to publish your banner is to go to edit. And copy your content and then post it with in your updates. If you're going to add interactive buttons at the bottom, you're going to want to wait and watch the next video before you do this step. But if you just want a banner, you're going to make sure that you click this little alarm bell so it goes to the top of your materials and then when you post it it'll show up at the top of your materials thanks for watching